All right. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to JablamSports.com's presentation of the NHL 2020 playoffs simulation. That's right, where you're simulating every single game of the entire NHL playoffs here at the basis of the stoppage of hockey before everybody started isolating. All right, so tonight we have game fours. Edmonton versus Dallas, game four, as well later on tonight, Boston and Philadelphia, game four. This series is 3-0, just like the other one. Dallas could finish up the series in a sweep here at home in game four. So let's go to the series so far. Game one, Dallas barely won 5-4. And then even game two as well, 3-2. I believe the first one was in overtime. And then the last game, 6-3, they won pretty handily. Jamie Benz leading the way, 14 points. He's playing well. Pavelski's been scoring big goals for them. He has eight and a big goal again last game. As well, Corey Perry, he's eight goals. He was very good in the first round. And he's still been putting up some big points on the depth. They have Gurianov with eight points. He's been playing well. And Ben Bishop has 11 wins and three losses. He's been pretty solid for them. If you want any of these stats, you can go to our website, JaplamSports.com, for the stats for every single team, for each series, and for the leaders of the entire playoffs. All right, for the Oilers, they're going to need a lot better uh, defense and goaltending. Koskinen hasn't been great, especially in this series. Uh, but offensively, McDavid's been solid, and he's been good since the first round the second round and even this series he's been amazing he's leading the league in points nine goals 18 points he's been solid Nuge 14 points he's been great uh, helping out McDavid and they've been getting some good depth scoring over over the most most part Tyler Ennis 10 points Athanasiu good addition for them eight points but they're gonna need a little bit better especially from again from the defense and goaltending uh, Nurse and the rest of that back back end, the cleft bomb, need to support Koskinen better, and they got to play a bit better system if they're going to win here game four. So we're going to start game four. Coming up next, Dallas is leading 3 nothing. Who's going to win game four? We'll find out. Will it be a sweep, or will Edmonton take it back to Edmonton for game five? Let's find out. Enjoy the game, folks. James Sabolski, he's Ray Ferraro down at ringside. Welcome to Dallas, Texas. When you're up this comfortably right now, can you get complacent here? You can, and you better not, James, because each game you don't have to play now is a little bit that you save on the body for later in the playoffs. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Here's a chance. Klingberg's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Takes the feet at the back end. Let's it fly. Here's the official call. The Oilers have been handed two minutes for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. Dallas sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. Well, James, statistically, we know that you score the first goal of the game, you're going to win well over 55% of the time. So that first goal is critical. Now you've got a great chance because you're on the power play. Gets it out of his own end. Dallas gets the puck near the boards. The Stars are in transition. Out front, stopped by the goaltender. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, you're going to get called almost every time. Dallas has a five on three with loads of time to spare. That is quite some time on the five on three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. And manages to clear the zone. Dallas has possession of it now. 
Klingberg's picking up momentum through center. Quick feed to Radulov. Shot, blocker saved. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and another big stop. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. From the point, shot tipped. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Officials seeing obstruction on this one. Interference the call. When they changed the standard a few years ago, James, I thought this was one of the best ones they did because it allows the game to flow along. Two-man advantage coming up here. What a great opportunity to get a five-on-three power play. The only danger is you become passive looking for the perfect play and you don't shoot the puck enough. Dallas gains control of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Hintz brings it in. Nice pass. Big save. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Sheehan's won the faceoff. And manages to clear the zone. Dallas has it near the wall. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Edmonton's across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Clefbaum. Edmonton's on the attack. Oh, wide of the net! Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Let's it go! Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it quickly over to Yanmark. Bears back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating. But as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. Hammers the shot. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Edmonton's hard work in this opening period pays off. Uh, right when the anthem finished, these guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. Takes the feed. Dallas plays the puck along the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. McDavid's got it into offensive territory. Quick pass to Green. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Dallas takes possession along the wall. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Here he is on the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, look at this after the whistle here. Getting nasty. Yeah, he's stirring the pot here. You get your glove into someone's face. You're trying to push him way back. him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. They were looking for a spark in this building and this might provide it. They are pumped yeah. in here. Yeah, this crowd on fire now here in the arena. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Karras won the draw. Puck grabbed by Nurse. Just slide. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Green. Moves along the blue line. Moves the puck. And it's a quick pass to Nurse. Point-to-point -point pass. Great glove save. Dallas has had some good looks, but they still find themselves trailing in the first. 
Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Here he is, shot right in front, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Play blown dead, penalty coming up here. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. You gotta move your feet here, you're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're gonna get called. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Dallas has had more shots, and yet they still find themselves behind in the first. Dallas takes possession off the draw. A chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. 1-0 the score. Dickinson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. What a stop. Edmonton's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Dallas will play it from behind the net. Slides the puck across to Pavelski. Pavelski's carrying it ahead. Quick feed to Hintz. Puck picked up by Larson. Dallas has it in the offensive end. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Hammers one from the point. Oh, he'll want to have that one back. Wayne Gretzky says 100% of the shots you don't take don't go in. Same for the ones that miss the net. Dallas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. They can't convert on the power play. They still trail in this one. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Oh, it was there. It was there. It's in a great spot. He just airmails this. Receives the pass. The easy glove save by Bishop. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Dallas holds the shot advantage here in the first period, yet they still trail in this game. Dreisaitl's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Dallas gets the puck near the boards. Takes the return feed. They've got numbers. Sends it over. Moves it to Ennis. Takes the feed. Rocked him in the open ice. Dallas is across the blue line. With some momentum driving towards the net. Battle along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Benning's caught up with the hook and the official saw it. Here comes the call. Cogliano's getting two for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Edmonton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Here's their first power play of the night, James, and they can be patient on it. They want to get the good shot, not just start firing puck after puck at the net. 15 minutes, 37 seconds. Slides it quickly to Faxa. Dallas is on the attack. Sends it in on the attack. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Directed over to Chase on. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Wanted to get in just a little closer. Puck slides off his stick, and that's it for the chance. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Intercepts the pass. Oh, puts it wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Chase on, swooping in on the attack. Slides the puck over. Off target. Taken along the wall by Chase on. Here's a backhander. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal.
Wow, did he fool the goaltender here, James. No chance for him after he bit on that initial fake. He's not going to catch up to this. He, for good measure, he delivers it under the bar. Dallas still trails late in this first period despite multiple scoring opportunities. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Cluff Bombs got it against the boards. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Dallas steps inside. Here's a short pass to Heiskanen. Handles the puck. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Dallas has possession of it now. Dallas moves it ahead. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. And he comes up with it. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. And that's easily turned aside. Hey, we got a legitimate rock star who's going to be dropping by the broadcast booth coming up in period number two. So don't go anywhere. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out... As both website. teams head to their respective rooms, we'll go recharge ourselves and get ready for a big second period. Wow, pretty good first period there for the Oilers. Um, they were struggling there at the beginning with a lot of foolish penalties. Dallas with two, two five-on-three chances. And their defense and Koskinen really held the fort there for them early on. And then right after they killed those five-on-threes, three penalties early, they scored. Big goal from Yamamoto, and he's been solid for them. I talked about pregame. He's been great, and they continued. They had a chance to score on the power play, and they did chase on with a big goal. Well, there's two goals in that period. That's great. Dallas with another power play chance, and they couldn't muster any good offensive uh, chances or finishes, and Koskinen made some big saves, especially on those two five-on-threes early in that first. So Edmonton leads 2-0 after the first period of play. Good job. They're in this here. Hopefully they can win this one. We'll see. Remember, you can check us out now on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, our subreddit page, and Discord if you want to mention anything, or even contact us. You can contact us on our website, jablamsports.com. We have a contact page. If you want to mention anything to us, recommend anything to us, please do so. All right, let's get to the second period. Second period action here tonight. James and Ray with you, and business is picking up here. The D O double G is in the house here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only, Snoop Dogg. I gotta tell you, man, I am so amped up. Thanks for doing this. Man, thank you for having me. For shizzle dizzle, I'm in the house. You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL can appreciate that sort of vibe. For those guys that are kind of building their own brand right now, what do you say to them? Say, man, stay true to what you do and master your craft, you understand me? And go study the greats. If there's somebody that you love that was great, go study him and see what he did to become great and try to be greater. Oh, oh yeah, hands on. Good defense. Why do you use your hands? Great job. Even Snoop's impressed with that one. That he is. Passes right to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is where we sit. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. With the stop, the Oilers gain possession in their own end. Over the line they come. Back to the point it goes. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Sends the pass over. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Takes the pass. Good use of the body on the play. 
Hey, when the Kings went to the silver and black look in the late 80s, you were a kid at the time, but did that add a little more street cred to the hockey team locally? It really did. It put them right in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Because now we can start to rock those Kings jerseys and King hats because it was all black and gray. And if you notice in those videos in the early 80s, all of the rappers had them on from the West Coast. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Here's a shot denied by the blocker. Coughs it up on the play. And he slides it quickly to Perry. Look out, a two-on-one. Let's it go. Blocked in traffic. And there's the save. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Here's an odd man rush. Moves it quickly over to Green. Sends it across. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. It's Snoop Dogg with us here in the broadcast booth. Super fans seem to be left, right, and center in sports these days. Could it work in hockey? Do you like seeing the super fans? Man, look at what it's doing for other sports. It's growing the sports to another level. Hockey deserves it, man. This sport has been around for many years. It's a great sport. It's competitive, and uh, people love it. So it deserves that. We need more super fans. I'll be the first one. Let's go. Hey, look, I know I'm no Chick Hearn, but do you want to still hang around watch the rest of this period? Look here, James. I got a little bit of time on my hand. Let's do it, baby. Let's enjoy this. There he is. He's going to hang out with us. Let's go. And he comes up with a big-time save on that. Up along the wing. Puck dumped in. Dallas has it near the wall. Looks to get the puck over to Faxa. Sent into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to chase on. Fires it into the offensive zone. Dallas takes possession along the wall. Mm. Right through his <laughs> chest with no vest. That hurt from here. May he lay to rest. He had to bend over on that. Bend over. Think about it. Breathe. I feel like you could take my gig any point right now if you want it. <sighs> Just breathe a little bit. <laughs> Good hit, baby. Good hit. That hurt from here. <laughs> yeah, look at him basting in his hip. <laughs> Dumps it in. Dallas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Dallas is in the offensive zone. Maintains possession. From the slot. Stones him in front. Puck scooped up by Nugent Hopkins. Cassian's got the puck along the wing. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And now he moves it quickly to Nurse. And he gains the zone here. And here's a shot, and he makes the save. Grabbed along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. And that's broken up with a stick in front. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Lindell's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Here in the later stages of this period, 2-0 is the score. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Athanasiu. Taken by Nurse. And a great heads-up defensive play here. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Stars have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Dallas has won the draw, and they take possession in the neutral zone. Passes over to Sagan. Sagan's got it along the wing. Dallas plays it along the wing. Quick pass to Sekera. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Benning. Here's a blast. And now it's grabbed by Perry. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Carries it across the line. Stopped by the blocker. Dallas gets the puck near the boards. Knocked away. Picked off. Gives them nothing in front. 
Hope you guys enjoyed my conversation with Snoop Dogg just as much as I sure did. Third period is just moments away. 2-0 is where we sit after 40 minutes of play. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play. -play. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Thanks, James. 2-0 after two periods. And that was a little bit more of a defensive period, a little bit more physical period as well. Some really big hits in that period. So both teams going at it physically, getting it into the nitty gritty. And the Oilers are still leading 2-0 after those two goals in the first period. Uh, of course, Yamamoto and Chase on early in the first. We'll see how it goes. 20 minutes left in regulation. Can Dallas mount a comeback? It's very possible. They've been very good in this series. So I'd still be on the edge and cutting down on chances by the Oilers, playing more defensive. That was a good second period there. Should keep them to per their perimeter if they can, and hopefully they can get to a game five. And I'll let you know when that game five is, depending on the later game tonight, the 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 Pacific game, Boston at Philadelphia. Boston's also leading that series 3-0. Remember, you can check out all the previous games and these games Live games are, of course, on here on our Twitch and our website, jablamsports.com. Check that out, of course. All our post games, of course, are on the website and on YouTube, Jablam Sports. So please check all those games out. And, of course, you can see all our stats, series information, and future schedules. Again, how all the schedules are going on our website. And, of course, we let you know by our Twitter, Jablam Sports, when games are being played as well. So check us out there on our Twitter. All right, let's get to the third. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Dallas doesn't really have to change too much. Just find a way to get a puck past this goaltender. Must look like a beach ball down there to him. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Clefbaum. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Here's a shot. Dallas gains a hold of it. Dallas gains the zone. To his teammate. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Cassian's got the puck. Slides the puck down low. Great heads up play by the defender. Dallas on the attack. Slides the puck down low. Here's a chance right in the slot. Takes control of the puck. Nice pass. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Dallas plays it against the boards. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Makes the save. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Dallas has it in their own zone. Dumps it in, and they'll skate off for a change. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Nurse is taking it from his own end. And makes a save. Nearing the midway mark of the period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Dallas moves it quickly along the wing. And they'll dump it in. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets it over to Archibald. Archibald's got it across the line. Dallas gains a hold of possession. Quick pass across to Dickinson. Takes the feed. Shoots it, and that one's stopped. Dallas has it against the half wall. Sends a pass over. And that's wide of the net. 
Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. Tees it up from the blue line. Denies him on the play. Big save by the goaltender once again. Now a quick pass to Heiskanen. Scooped up along the wall by Perry. Takes it across the blue line. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Moved to the middle. Jabs the puck away. Edmonton's got it behind the net. Shane's got the puck through the neutral zone. Here they are on the attack. Archibald's got it in the offensive zone. Big time stick save. Smothered that in close chance. Now he takes it over the line. They've got the defense outnumbered. Scores! They're not out of this one yet. Now they get one to bring themselves to within one here. Now they gotta keep the climb. I never had much of a one-timer. That one right there is a bullet. He takes the pass, times it well, and hammers it home. doesn't necessarily have a lot of time left, but they got uh, a big goal yeah, back. Yeah, but they, they got enough, James. I mean, now they're only down one. If they can press, you make you the, the team with the lead nervous. And it's a quick pass to Cogliano. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. From one point man to another. Chris one turns it away. No, he, he scores. He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. Oh, I thought he had this, James. He got a big chunk of it, but it just slowly trickled past him and into the net. Edmonton's insurance marker has really widened the gap here in the back half of the third. And now it turns into a little bit of a free-for-all. They're comfortable with their two-goal lead, but the other guys, you know they're going to be pressing the play, trying to get back in it. Moves the puck, and he slides it quickly to Polak. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Neal's going to play it against the half wall. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Denied by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. With the stop. Dallas has it near the wall. Dallas takes it across the line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Point shot, and it doesn't get better than that. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head. Yeah, except all we would say on the bench is it sounded hard when it hit the end board. <laughs> Works it across to Ben. Here's a chance. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Ennis. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Strong defensive effort. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Dialed in on that stop. I need to take another look at that. I thought there was room to get by. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm glad I don't have to take the hit he just took. Dallas desperate for some offensive conversions here late in this third period. Pavelski's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Back on a stick now. Dallas looks to move the puck from their own end. With possession along the wall. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Gets in front of it. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Quick feed to McDavid. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. Here comes the call from the official. 
Pavelski's getting called for slashing. Even though the standard is tighter for slashing penalties, I think that would have been a penalty 10 years ago, too. Exactly. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck sent over to Sekera. Along the half wall with the puck. Dallas trailing here has pulled the goaltender and the extra attackers now out on the ice. Carries it in to the empty net. And that goes off a player. A Whoa. chance to end it. And there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty net, but this one he puts between the pipes. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. Dallas is running out of time late in this third period as they continue to trail. Dallas wins it. Here's a short pass to Klingberg. And now he moves it quickly to Lindell. Puts it on goal. And a great save. And now it's over to McDavid. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. Dallas has had a lot of good looks on net, and yet they trail late in this third period. Dallas wins the draw. Takes the feed at the point. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Well, a big win tonight. Can they do it two more times, though? Uh, they can't even worry about two more times. Can they do it one more time? At 3-1, now they've got a chance to try and really get themselves in the series with another game. Great playoff action here this evening for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next playoff game. Good night. What a big win for the Oilers. What a great game by Koskinen. This is what they need from their defense and Koskinen is big games. They got a little bit lucky that Dallas couldn't muster much, especially early in the game when they had two five on threes. Two five on three chances. Dallas can do anything and that was a big letdown because right after that, big huge goal there by Yamamoto. And that really took the sails out of Dallas. Chase on scored after that later in the period on the power play. And the Oilers were perfect on the power play. Their special teams is pretty much what got them this win. Koskinen was great. He was outstanding. The defense was outstanding on those power plays for Dallas, especially early in the game. And Edmonton scored on their opportunities, what they did on the power play. Uh, Chase on with two goals. He scored one there again at the end. And McDavid, the empty netter. So the Oilers played a very complete game, very good game. They kept Dallas the perimeter for the most part, but they had some chances, especially on those power plays, and Koskinen and their defense held the fort there. Uh, you know, they got a little lucky on those power plays, but again, great goaltending and great defense. So game five will be in two days. We're going to update you with the schedules, what time that game will be. Pro it's probably going to be either 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern, 5 or 6 p.m. Pacific. We'll let you know. But please check our Twitter, Jablam Sports, uh, to know exactly when those games are going to be. We'll let you know on that day for sure. It will be, though, Thursday night. Two days, Thursday night. Today's Tuesday, so that's when it'll be. And, of course, check out our website, JablamSports.com, for all your series, stats, schedules, and information. We'll be dropping our podcast back soon, the hockey one. And that will be coming in the next week or two, so stay tuned for that. All right, coming up next is Boston versus Philadelphia. That game will be on in about 20 minutes, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. Boston's leading that series 3-0, so stay tuned for that. Don't miss that out. All right, everybody stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. We are bringing this to you for all you thirsty sports and hockey fans out there. Enjoy. Have a safe night.